anti-racists are just the biggest racists. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. For this video, I'm going to respond to two articles that were done by two supposed anti-racists because anti-racism must have a label, otherwise you must be a racist if you're not anti-racist. The first article I'm going to respond to comes directly from Black Lives Matter and the second article I'm going to respond to talks about Charles Barkley. The article that was written by a Black Lives Matter spokeswoman demanded that white people should give out their houses for black people. I shit you not. Number one, white people. If you don't have any descendants, will your property to a black or brown family, preferably one that lives in a generational poverty. I fucking told you guys that I was not kidding about this. Number two, white people. If you're inheriting property you intend to sell upon acceptance, give it to a black or brown family. You're bound to make that money in some other white privileged way. I love how this article assumes that white people have it good in life just because they're white. There are poor white people, there are middle class white people, and there are rich white people to assume that white people have it good in life just because of their skin color. That is quite frankly ridiculous and racist. Number two, white people are not obligated to donate stuff just because a person is black. If a white person wants to donate to charity, that's entirely on them. However, they're not obligated to donate something to somebody just because they're black. It's basically assuming that black people have nothing in life and so therefore they need whitey to get something from them. White people. If you can afford to downside, give up the home you own to a black or brown family, preferably a family from a generational poverty. No. Just, uh, fucking no. Like I said earlier, they're not obligated to give people something just because of their skin color. Speaking for myself, I do not want fucking handouts from white people just because I'm black. I want to work my way to the top to get my own house, my own stuff, and my own place. I don't want to have white people to help me out just because I'm black. I only want help if I need help from other people. That's all I want. I want self-responsibility, not give outs or handouts. This is why I said earlier that anti-racists are basically the biggest racists. They have bigotry of low expectations when it comes down to minorities and people like me. White people, especially white women, get a racist fire. Y'all know what the fuck you be saying. You are complicit when you ignore them. Get your boss fired because they're racist too. My main question is this. What in the fuck qualifies as a racist to them? Is it somebody who is critical of Black Lives Matter or any kind of black supremacist groups? Hell, is it somebody who has a haircut that looks like a neo-Nazi? I shit you not, like people are now saying that certain haircuts are racist because of neo-Nazis. All that I know within the ideology of social justice is that black people themselves apparently can't be racist due to prejudice and power, so I will not be affected by this, so uh, thank God. Commit to two things, fighting white supremacy and how you can, and fighting black and brown people and their work. Because all white people are just interested in like uh, activism, right? The second article is called, Charles Barkley is a great example of a black white supremacist. The article itself was fouled underneath stupid negroes on that site. Maybe it's me, but saying stupid Negroes is no different than saying Uncle Tom, House Nigger, Coons, basically names to shut down black people who have different opinions that are different from mainstream. Now the main reason why Charles Barkley was called a white supremacist in that article was because of this club. I'm not going to waste my time worrying about these confederate statues. That's wasted energy. 
you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep doing great things. I'm going to keep trying to make a difference, number one, in the black community because I'm black, but I'm also going to try to do good things in the world. I'm not going to waste my time screaming at a neo-Nazi who's going to hate me, no matter what, and I'm not going to waste my time trying to worry about these statues that they got all over the country. So do you leave them up and ignore them? Or do you I've always ignored them, Rick. I'm 54 years old. I've never thought about those statues a day in my life. I've never, I think if you ask most black people, to be honest, they ain't thought a day in their life about those stupid statues. What we as black people need to do, we need to worry about getting our education. We need to stop killing each other. We need to try to find a way to have more economic opportunity and things like that. Don't waste, those things are important and significant. You know, I, I'm wasting time and energy screaming at a neo-Nazi or, man, you gotta take this statue down. Can you guys please tell me just how in the heck that clip represents white supremacy? He basically said that black people should focus more on education and actual crime rather than confederate statues. Again, why would a white supremacist do that by definition? White supremacists, by definition, want supremacy over minorities. As a matter of fact, white supremacists want ethnostates with white people only. The words he just said was the exact opposite of supremacy. Yet somehow, the article says that he's a white supremacist. That just makes no fucking sense to me. I am just so sick and tired of these supposed anti-racists. Like seriously, I am. It is so funny to me how people say that they're anti-something, but their actions show otherwise. For example, Antifa. They claim to be anti-fascist, yet act like fascists, and anti-racists end up acting like racists. I really want to live in another planet where I cannot stand this madness anymore. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.